Hi everyone, welcome back to Laravel e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about changing the login and register page layout. So let's see how can we apply HTML template on login and register page. You can see here this is the default login page layout. Okay, and if I go to the uh, register link, register. You can see here this is the default register page. Now let's apply the HTML template on this register page and this login page. Okay, so for that, we go to the project and let's go inside the resources directory and then views auth and from here let's open login.play.php file. Okay, and uh, here uh, let's just go left this container and just comment this. And now go to the template directory and from here let's open login.html uh, file in text editor. So just open with VS code and from this file uh, let's copy this main tag. So just collapse this main tag and select copy and go to the login.blade.php file inside this section just paste here. Okay, and now let's uh, make some changes inside this code. So, first of all, inside this form, just add here the action. So, right here, double curly bracket route, and inside this, just uh, inside this route, just pass here the login. Okay, and uh, also add the add here at the rate csrf okay method is post and now inside this input email field let's display here the old value so right here double curly bracket and simply write here this one old email so copy this and paste here Similarly, for the password, uh, you don't need the password, so just leave it. And uh, for displaying the validation message, let's copy this error and paste inside the password, password class, okay, and also paste inside this email class, okay, and change here the name, email. Okay, and now for the uh, validation message, displaying the validation message, let's copy this and paste after this label. Okay, and also paste inside this password. Okay, change the name, password. And for registration link, let's add here the route for the register route. So write your route and route name which is register. Okay, and uh, just remove this my account link. Alright, now set this file. Now it's done. So save this file and uh, let's check this. So refresh the page. And you can see here the template has been applied. Now if I click on create account, you can see on the register page. Okay. Now let's check the login. So first of all, without any entering the value let's click on login you can see here the validation message okay and uh, now let's enter here the credential user name and password now click on login okay let's log in now let's enter the invalid email id and password okay now click on login 
and you can see on the validation message okay now let's apply the template on this register page for that go to the project and uh, first of all just remove this commentary text from the login view all right now close this and now from the auth folder let's open the register.blade.php file and this time let's collect this div and comment out and now go, go to the template directory and this time uh, let's open register.html page in vs code so open with vs code and let's find the main tags so search here now collapse this main tag and just copy and paste inside this register.blade.php file inside this section file uh, directory okay so paste here now here uh, let's copy this route here is the form and this is the route the register route so just copy this route and uh, paste here and now add the add the rate csr csrf and also add the method directive and just pass here the uh, method is post okay no need for the method so just remove this and for the class uh, let's copy this error class error is invalid in this one and paste inside this name input field and also inside this email field mobile field and password field okay now change here the name I change the password mobile email address so email and here is the email and now for displaying the validation message validation error message let's copy this and just paste after this label okay let's copy and paste for the email address mobile and password okay change the name password and here mobile email and there is the name okay and for the login link uh, let's add here the route route login okay now just remove this and one more thing uh, for the old value Let's copy this and uh, paste here inside this panel. Okay, for the name and the name for the email mobile and here for pass uh, not required for password. Okay, so leave it and simply change here the text add the name mobile email and here name okay now set this and now let's remove this container hold the container so select this and delete 
now save this file and now do one more thing uh, first of all let's check the register page so this is the register page now refresh the page and you can see here the new template okay of the register page if i click on login you can see the login page okay do one more thing uh, let's create uh, a field for mobile uh, inside the table okay so add one more column inside the table user table for the mobile so go to the database directory and uh, migration and then open user table migration and inside this let's copy this line and after this just paste here change the name mobile okay now save this now go to the user model so go inside the app directory models user and uh, here let's add one more column which is mobile and now go to the http directory controllers auth and inside the register controller let's add here the validation for the mobile so right here mobile and uh, validation which is required and uh, another validation digit digits okay 10 digit and also set to the unique mobile number so right here unique colon users okay required digits 10 digit okay and unique these are the validation for the mobile and now for inserting the mobile to the table let's copy and paste here change the text and here mobile okay now save this now it's done so first of all let's uh, refresh the migration so go to the command prompt and just stop the running application so press ctrl plus c now clear the screen and for refreshing the migration just right here php artisan migrate colon refresh okay now hit enter all right migration done now run the application php artisan serve all right now refresh the page now let's register so this time all users are cleared let's check so go to the php my admin open the database and there are there is no any user inside the users table so first of all let's, let's register the admin user so right here admin email id this one mobile number it's a one two three four five six seven eight nine ten password okay and confirm password and now just click on register user registered now let's replace the account on table and you can see here this is the mobile number email id username and here is the password okay now let's change the user type of the admin so let's try to ADM and now let's uh, register one more user and the normal user so register the complete account user user at the rate south side media dot in and mobile number and one two three four five six seven Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. Okay, and password. And one password. And now click on register. 
which are registered. Okay, refresh the table, and you can see here the you know, these two users. First is the admin user, and second is the normal user. So admin dashboard, log out, log in with um, admin user. In this term, you can see the admin dashboard. Okay, so in this way, you can apply HTML template on login and register page. So that's all about changing the login and register page layout. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.